Hey makers this is Truveen and in this episode I am going to talk about email validation in power pages sometimes we have a requirement where we need to validate the email address like it should have at the rate sign it should have dot it should not accept any special characters something like that so how we can apply this validation for power pages if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me so let's get started so here i have the basic form that we have developed and over here i have email field and now i want to validate my email so let's say for an example at this moment let's say i am typing a at gmail and let's say i am clicking on submit button then what happen here is this email is not validated because we haven't applied any specific type of expression over here so in order to apply the proper email validation we can use regex validation inside the power pages for that what you need to do is you simply need to open your basic form so let's say this is the basic form that we have developed in our previous sessions and simply go to the basic form metadata from here click on new basic form metadata over here you need to select the type over here i want to apply the validation for the specific attribute so let's select the attribute over here you need to select that attribute name so in our case i want to apply validation for email so i'm selecting ppt underscore email then we need to go to the validation section and over here there is an option for regular expression for the email validation we are going to use this type of expression which accept a to z or capital a to z or 0 to 9 digit or percentage dot and it also validate against dot com or something which has the domain now we need to apply the validation error message for this regular expression so let's say here i'm just providing a message like please enter a valid email address email address should be like this it should not contain any spaces or special character and expect dot underscore percent sign plus sign or hyphen i'm just clicking on save and close let's sync the changes and preview it let me add the email address over here so i'm just adding a at the rate gmail and let's see what error it is showing to me it is showing me the custom message that i provided please enter a valid email address because it is checking against the regular expression that we have provided over there now if i'm providing a proper email address like this then this validation message will be going yep the validation message went away and we are all good so this is how you can simply apply the email validation using the regular expression also there are many other ways up to apply the email validation as well you can apply the javascript validation as well like let's say when you press tab at the time your validation should fire you can also do like that as well so i am going to talk about the custom validation into upcoming episode but this is something which is more related regular expression validation so that's how it will look like this hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel and if you are looking for any power pages or power platform related consultation the website link is available over here or you can follow me on all the social media handles available on the channel cover right page with this this is truveen signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye